That's what I told him. So, oh, hey, hold that thought. This is my boy. Franchise, my main man. One game, buddy. One more win, and it's Division One, the big time. You get this done, and we're gonna have a license to print money. Woo! Well. Look at you, rough boy, already fighting for a spot in Division One. Just remember what you've got waiting for you if you make it. Hey, French, can you believe it? The sponsors decided to take a pass on you and went with Grace for their ad campaign. Don't take it too hard, buddy. She's only the hottest athlete turned supermodel on the planet. Hey, it's me. Man, I gotta tell you, every time you lay a dirty hit on some stupid SOB, it's pure money. And you've gotten 30 of them already this season. That caught the attention of our new sponsor, who, by the way, is sending some sweet new gear to your team's clubhouse as we speak. Good evening and welcome. The Division II Championship will kick off in just a sec, but first, let's hear from my very special guest. Good to be here, thanks, Ed. Traffic was kind of bad getting over here, but it's a great day for a game. Not, not a great day on the expressway, but a great day for a game. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be unbelievable. First and 30. 222. And he's in the end zone. Play. I, I bet guys around him are actually starting to feel more feminine just as a result of watching how manly that play was. If he does that again, they're probably going to need to start wearing bras. Oh, yeah. And the extra point is good. First down and 30. 222! Picked off! The franchise adds to his total. Yeah, some people might say it was a bad pass, but it, it really was a good pass. It just went to the wrong guy. So it, it, it was a bad pass to the right guy, but a good pass to the wrong guy. Not perfect passes, just are you know, they're perfect for the wrong team. Okay. with six more points. You ever have that uh, acid reflux, you know, with the heartburn and then, you know, with the, the rest of it, all that kind of stuff? That, and, of course, I, I, I got that today and I forgot my ass. <laughs> what are you going to do? And the extra point is good. shows that he's a professional, not like the coach hired his brother-in-law to go out there and catch passes because oh, all your brother-in-law is going to do is show up and have fun to do pressure or something, you know, I've had Makes the recovery. Well, I tell you, somebody needs to throw that offensive life preserver. I mean, the defense just swarm around like a bunch of hungry sharks, and they're bleeding all over the place. And, you know, it's not, not like the movies, you know, where the, the giant squid can come and save you. I mean, just <laughs> Four yards to go. 
Oh yeah, we're tearing up the field here. Franchise finds the end zone once again. You want to know why athletes get paid so much money? Look no further than that play right there. I'm sure he, he's not pulling people out of a burning building or teaching a young child to read. But this guy plays the game very, very well. And that's worth tens of millions of dollars in my book. And the extra point is good. The offense looking at first and 30. Ball at the 27-yard line. Looks like a fumble. Broke that button. Julius Williams gives his team a new set of downs. And that's the end of the first quarter. Memphis leads by 21. Four yards to go. 222! 
He lets it go. And it's intercepted. Can't blame it all on the sloppy conditions. I mean, the other guys have the same weather right there. If, if one guy's balls are slippery, then the other guy's balls, they're just as slippery. up with the turtles. Touchdown! Franchise cannot be stopped. If you ever wanted to play that shows what makes a great captain, that would be it. You could take the tape out of your machine, stick it in a time capsule with your hoop earrings, your, your leg warmers, and your whatever, you know, the gel bracelets maybe, and let the future learn about today. And the extra point is good. And with the first half of the books, Memphis leads by 22. down 30 yards to go the ball is loose covers it up the modern day knights. I mean, they suit up in armor, they do battle, they ride, they don't, they, they don't ride horses, and they don't fight dragons. Okay, they're not really knights, but we don't need knights anymore. Now, now that all the dragons are gone, at least in this country. First down and 30. Ball resting at the 37-yard line. Went up there and caught it. Boom. Well, I guess instead of boom, it was more like stirk. But still, it was a heck of a catch. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay. Hold on, man. I'll give you a hand. Come on. I like their chances here on third and short. Arrow 49! Arrow 49! Oh. Has the first down. Turn on. 
<laughs> you know what's a good turnover, though? Apple. 56! I got him! I got the six! the third quarter, Memphis leads by 29. You go. You're all right, buddy. Get out there and kick his ass. First and goal. It's gut check time. 319. Nobody. 319. Second down. Second down. There you go. You're all right, buddy. Get out there and kick his ass. Second and goal. Throwing to the end zone, makes the catch. Hey, you have to stop! the sticks this time. Looks like they'll try an onside kick here. First down, 30 yards to go. Ball at the 32-yard line. Franchise looked like a racehorse on that one. Just amazing speed and agility. Room on the highlight reel for that. Oh, possibly room on a stretcher, too. Boom! Fourth and what must seem like a mile here. Down and 30. Blue, 81. Arrow, 49. Arrow, 49. And that's going the other way. That's about all she wrote on this one. First and 30. Brown 55! 
What a scamper. <laughs> Whoa! You know, I, I had a friend with a dog named Scamper, which is funny because the dog didn't move much. I, I just thought they should have named him Fluffy Lump. Or George. champs ending the season with a perfect record quite an accomplishment How's it feel to be moving up to Division One? Feels awesome. We're going to play for the league title next year, man. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I hate to break up the festivities, but I have an important announcement to make. Last night, the Minnesota Reapers chartered a yacht and held a party on Lake Minnewanka. Tragically, the party got out of hand and the boat sank. Seven players and a self-employed model were drowned. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the families of the victims. The League and the Reapers have decided that the team will suspend operations for next season, out of respect for the victims and the community. That leaves one spot open in Division One. Oh, shit. A random drawing was just conducted in my office, and the team that has been promoted from Division 2 is... The L.A. Riot. The L.A. Riot. Fucking douchebag. 